What's up, you guys? So this actually be the first time I have baseball news on my channel. I technically already recorded a baseball video talk about the lockout a little bit. That video will be out very soon. But yeah, I just had to touch on this David Ortiz making the Hall of Fame thing. And more importantly, how Barry Bonds did not make the Hall of Fame. And Roger Clemens as well. But yeah, this is... I said it in my other baseball video too. This is another case of baseball just getting in its own way. When you have one of the greatest players of all time, some people might even argue the greatest. Yes, yeah, most people maybe would argue that it's Barry Bonds. So to have one of the greatest players of all time not be in the Hall of Fame after 10 tries because of a three-year stint, to me, is just plain ridiculous, and there's no other way to put it. And we really have to start to question the credibility of this voting, of the writers, because first of all, Barry Bonds actually never has tested positive. Yes, I get it. He's admitted to it. We all know he's done it, but he's never actually tested positive. And when you look at David Ortiz, who just got in the Hall of Fame, first ballot without second thought, there's allegations that he tested positive in 2003 and he has used PEDs before, or is at the very least he's linked to it. So why is it this double standard because Barry Bonds shattered all the records, he gets punished the most? And I get it. I will never, ever condone cheating on this channel. I'll, I'm going to put that out there right now, that I don't condone what Barry Bonds did. But at the end of the day, we really look at it. Barry Bonds cheating put your sport back on the map, baseball. MLB, Barry Bonds shattering your records saved your dying league. That's just the facts. Not that it was the right thing to do, but that's the facts. It, it saved the league. So for him to be disrespected like this, and I'm not saying just because, oh, he shattered all the records, he made the league excited to get an all fan. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you look at all the years before the 1998 season when he allegedly cheated, his career numbers before that 1998 season are Hall of Fame worthy. And that's the problem that I have. He had a Hall of Fame career even before that. You take away all the year steroids, even if you want to say, we'll take away all those numbers from those seasons. He still has Hall of Fame numbers and he still arguably is one of the greatest players of all time. So that's mainly the problem I have with it. And to me, this points to another thing too, how character is being factored into these Hall of Fame votings. Now, especially me being as a Christian, I will always say character is a big thing and we should always look to be the best people we can be and that comes first. But the Hall of Fame, whether we like it or not, is not about character. It's about what you did on the field. So this happened with Tara Owens too and how his problems on the field, how he's handled the media, stopped him from getting in first ballot when he obviously should have gotten in first ballot. And it's happening again here with Barry Bonds where his character, how he treated the media, and then you add cheating on top of it has been factored in and takes away from what he's done on the field, which is the only thing Hall of Fame should be judged on. So that's kind of the problems I have with this. I think most of us can agree to be in the Hall of Fame. If some of you guys don't, definitely argue in the comments. I would love to see your argument about it. But yeah, baseball fans, let me know what you guys think about this Bonds thing. I don't want to take credit away from David Ortiz when I make this video. So congratulations, David Ortiz. He definitely deserves it and was clutch in a couple of the Red Sox World Series wins. I don't want to take away from David Ortiz. He definitely deserved to get in and get in first ballot. But yeah, this Bonds thing is ridiculous. This Roger Clemens thing is ridiculous. I think baseball is really suffering from not letting these greats in because of the steroid era. And they need to clarify. They need to get right. Okay, what happened with this steroid era and how do we justice from here on? Because Barry Bonds, and keep in mind, Barry Bonds only, when you look at it, because of what McGuire and Sosa did, Bonds only took steroids because of what they did. I know it's probably sound like I'm trying to justify it, but even though we acknowledge that it's wrong, we definitely need to put it in perspective as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and hopefully Bonds gets some type of recognition for the career he's had.